This is our closeout report for the Cardano community in regards to our governance plugin that we built to integrate into WordPress websites so that anyone that is building their website on WordPress can easily install this plugin and have a full DAO ecosystem set up the whole proposal and the whole voting side of things at least. So this here is our proposal. You can find it by searching for uh, Cardano Press on the Project Catalyst site. Uh, this is it exactly and you can find that the number here is 900053 Cardano Press Governance Plugin. Now we've gone through and done a lot of work on this plugin. We've uh, gone through multiple iterations, cleaned up a lot of code, got it all ready for the uh, WordPress plugin directory. You can find all the code here on our GitHub repository. Uh, it's a, a stable release at the moment as well, which we're really happy about. And if you go to the WordPress plugin directory uh, um, site, you can search in Cardano or Cardano Press in general, and you'll be able to find this particular plugin that you can store on any WordPress website Site if it's a self-hosted site. To go through and actually install it, it's pretty easy to do so. You just go to the back end of your website, uh, type add new. In this case, I search for Cardano. You can type in Cardano Press and that will come up with all the various plugins that we've built and in particular, the governance plugin. Now to get this one working, you do need the core plugin as well, this one here. So make sure that one's installed and activated. Then you can install and activate the governance one. Now, once this is installed and up and running, you can start creating new proposals. This is an existing example proposal here on the Cardano Press website itself. Just put a little description about what the proposal is, a little excerpt as well. And under here, this is a, a lot of work that we did with the community to work out how proposals were being used uh, with a lot of feedback that we got from uh, other projects that were actually using it. So here we can see uh, we've got a unique identifier for this particular proposal. Um, it could be any integer you want. We have a snapshot date or no snapshot date. So you can keep this uh, thing rolling on if you want. So this will be a continuous poll that we can run on the website. Now here we also have a global configuration. So you don't need to configure this stuff all the time or each individual proposal itself can use different voting mechanisms, uh, different policy IDs within the Cardano ecosystem. So in this case, I'm using the LRN token here, which is set up as a policy ID. So here I can tick on that one. So number of tokens by policy ID, and I can use the learn token to actually be part of the voting power of this particular proposal. Or I can just use the amount of ADA that is in a wallet. Uh, we are doing some additional work on that now so that it's just one vote per wallet as well. So a lot of different other uh, scenarios where you might want to vote. Now this will work for tokens or non-fungible tokens. So if you've got an NFT project and you want your voting power to be NFTs, how many NFTs a person holds, you can do that as well. So it's really flexible in how that works. Down here is the options of your votes. So you give a value to each one of these and then you can say yes, no, and add in up to 97 different uh, variations of different options that you may, may want to vote for. Of course, uh, 97 is ridiculous. Uh, a two uh, option vote is usually what people do. Now, the other extra little thing that you can do here is also token gate this voting process. So if you are a particular holder of an NFT, then you'll be able to see this particular uh, voting uh, proposal page. So there's a lot of things that you can do around that with Cardano Press in terms of gating and uh, only allowing certain community members to be able to vote on the, a particular proposal. So you may want to use, for example, ADA as your voting power for this, but you only want your community of NFT holders to be able to vote. So you don't want to open it up to a vote for the wider Cardano community. You just want to focus on your NFT community. So you can do that and then use ADA as your voting power. So there's lots of different mechanisms, different scenarios that you can use, which is really cool. Now, when you first set up the plugin, when you first set up the Cardano Press core plugin as well, you do need to put in your BlockFrost API key and also set up the various tokens that you'll be using for the voting proposals in this particular site. So in this case, I've just set up this particular a token here, the learn token, added in its policy ID there. But I can add in any other project ID. I can use tokens from other ecos, other projects. Uh, so it doesn't have to be a token that you control yourself. It can be min tokens, for example, which uh, you know I didn't create, but I can use it as a voting power on my particular site too. So it's really flexible on how you can do things. 
Now, this is an example on the front end of the Cardano Press website. If you actually go to cardanopress.io slash proposals, you'll be able to see this. And I'll keep this example up uh, for indefinitely so that anyone that watches this video can go back and actually see this, actually go through the voting process yourself. So this is one particular vote that went on chain just a little bit earlier from my testing. And you can see here now my wallet that's connected, I can no longer vote it because I've already voted in this particular proposal. So it won't let me vote again with this particular wallet of course you can create multiple wallets and get around it but if your voting power is directly linked to ada then um, you you need to move ada around and do all sorts of things that's why we put snapshots in place so it record the ada balances at a particular point in time so that uh, it won't allow people to move votes around or voting power around from wallet to wallet now I just refresh the screen there and we can see here that each proposal has a link to its uh, discussion area, but that just links to our proposal uh, um, categories within the forum where people can discuss the proposal before it's voted for. Now a couple of communities that are using it at the moment, so Ada Waifus were using it for a while for their uh, proposal voting. So you can see it here, this is a decision to uh, reduce supply and hold and um, hold their airdrops. So uh, you can see the date, when the snapshot was taken, the various uh, details around this, and then also the vote. So this one here was accepted. The vote was accepted, went through with 92 uh, amount of voting power from 10 unique votes within the ecosystem and no negative votes there, no declines. You can see all the transactions on chain. So we can load up one of those there and can actually see uh, the, um, the confirmations on chain, uh, when it was done and everything relating to the actual vote itself. Now the freeloaders team were using this as well. You can see it here on the awareness website, they did a lot of proposals. They did quite a few proposals down here. I can keep on scrolling, keeps on going and going, uh, but they went through that particular process to uh, um, go through and vote on various different rewards, different setups, different ideas. Uh, and you can see all their uh, statistics around their votes there. So 15 unique votes, lots of voting power there, etc, etc. So far so good. We're generally happy with the adoption and the uptake of this particular plugin. We don't expect it to be a huge amount of it in stores for the governance one, but at least it gives users and projects a different tool and different mechanism to actually start building out governance within their communities. Now the, where we want to take the project next is actually link this mechanism here and initiate smart contracts to release release uh, funds from a particular treasury or link it to a multi-signature DAO um, setup so that uh, users can then uh, trigger an event and uh, initially start the uh, multi-signing, multi-sig uh, process for releasing funds to the ecosystem. So there's a lot of things that we want to now integrate into existing solutions that are built on Cardano already. Uh, so we're pretty excited about where this project could go in the future and really have that whole encompassing governance uh, setup for any project that wants to go forth with something like this. Now for us, we're going to go through an NFT drop in general. So we have the WordPress Wapus, which uh, is the mascot for WordPress in general, but we've changed it into a menacing collection of robotic mecha uh, Wapus. And this is gonna be a really cool showcase of how everything works within the Cardano Press ecosystem and everything that we've built, everything from the token gating side of things, the SPO delegations, the uh, governance plugin, and also a mini ISPO. So there's a lot of things that we're going to do around this and it's really gonna showcase how Cardano Press can help various different projects in very different uh, scenarios and use cases in the Cardano ecosystem. So that's it. If you want to find out more, you can check out our website at cardanopress.io and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.